Hi guys, welcome to another video. Hope you're all keeping well. Uh, now for this video, uh, I'd like to review um, a horror movie that I watched uh, just the other night uh, on Amazon Prime. It's uh, a 2022 20, American uh, supernatural movie, uh, and that movie is called Titanic Rises. Uh, now, um, before I, I give you my thoughts on the movie as a whole, I'll just give you an outline of the plot. Yeah, so as I say, like it's um, yeah, it's it made in 20, 2022, and it was it was directed by uh, Nick Lyon, and it stars uh, Keena Sharp and uh, Jamie Bamber. Uh, so um, yeah, so basically the story revolves around um, I suppose you could call it like a kind of Titanic three. Um, because it's like a uh, set in the modern era and that, and uh, it's beautiful, beautifully, beautifully coloured movie. Uh, it opens up like with everybody going on the ship and that, all the passengers and that. Oh yeah, really vibrant colours and that. Uh, and basically, it's um, the setting off on the voyage on, on this sort of like a uh, new version of the Titanic. And uh, but also there's this girl that's on board as well. She's kind of like a uh, she's a creepy kind of character, very young girl, and. Um, She's got this business about the about the fact that one of the guys that was involved in uh, you know sort of like uh, rebuilding it like a type this Titanic uh, three, he's used artifacts from the original ship you know that went down in nineteen twelve. He's used artifacts and he's got like these like uh, scattered all over the ship and that you know, um, and this girl's particularly bitter about the fact that he's he's uh, he's got a necklace that belonged that was salvaged from the original wreck. From it that belonged to her great great uh, grandmother, so she sort of like what she does, like uh, surreptitiously and discreetly, she performs this weird arcane ritual in the bowels of the ship. And when she performs the ritual, she evokes all all the ghosts from the actual wreck, you know, that went down in 1912. And she evokes them, as I say, with this ritual and that she chants and that. And then uh, once she's performed the ritual, they sort of like resurrected and they, they sort of like wreak havoc all over the ship basically so that's the story really really in a nutshell yeah um you know um, now on to my thoughts on the movie as a whole guys uh, yeah i have to say i was disappointed with it although when it first started i thought it was in for a good roller coaster ride and that you know because you've got the grand a opening and that the lovely color that lovely color movie all the passengers going onto the ship and that people from all walks of life and uh, you know when they're in the ballroom and that all dressed in it you know immaculate clothes and that you know ballroom dresses and that and it, it really evokes the atmosphere you'd actually think you're on the ship, you know, the modern version of the Titanic. And, uh, yeah, and I must give it credit for the, the lovely colour. Yeah, but as I say, the story, it, it just sort of wanes and wanes, guys, and that, you know. Um, even the ghosts weren't very scary. It even evoked the ghost of the captain from the original, um, you know, Titanic that went down, you know, in in, in 1912. And it, and even the killings aren't very horrifying and that, you know. Um, so, yes, I was very disappointed. I'm glad I didn't buy it. Um, I just rented it out and that, you know. So, um, but if you like movies and about the Titanic and that and creepy haunted ships, you might derive some degree of enjoyment from it. But it wasn't for me, guys. So I don't think I'll be buying it for my collection. Uh, but that's just my opinion, as I say. Um, it was a good concept, I suppose. Like you know, um, sort of like uh, re, 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 sort of like reboot the story of the Titanic, but in, in a modern setting. Uh, and you've got this creepy girl and that, you know, like witch. She's like witchy character, and she does this ritual in the bowels of the ship evoking all the ghosts and they start popping up everywhere now but the kills are very very short you know and they're not really uh, frightening you know and then it, it sort of like switches then to the security team investigating and that you know what's going on and that and uh, yeah but there was very very long long moments in the movie guys where i just got bored and i actually fell asleep near the end you know and uh, i became that bored with it yeah but as i say if you like ships involving like ghostly with ghosts on and that and you love stories about the titanic and um, i think you might derive some degree of pleasure uh, from watching this movie um, and as I say um, the animosity between the guy who's got who, who's sort of like uh, he's, he salvaged some of the um, relics from the original you know ship and then you know b between him and the girl and that the witchy girl uh, you know I thought that that was quite good but as I say it didn't really play out as I would have liked to have played out you know uh, it wasn't very gripping um, and uh, the best thing about it really guys as I say was the colour lovely colour you know as I say particularly in the opening scenes and that and the ship and that they really done a good job reenacting you know the interior of the of the Titanic and that and it brought back memories and that of all Titanic movies where I've watched and it sort of like gave it the spirits of what it must have been like, you know, and they even got the icebergs as well, you know, and the ships it, it, like an open sea, they've even got the icebergs and that, they, they brought that aspect into it as well, uh, but yeah, as I say, the ghosts, they weren't very frightening guys, not as good as the ghosts and ghost ship movies like that, you know, uh, and as I say, um, it wasn't really for me. All right then guys, on to a rate now uh, for um, Titanic Rises, also known by the way as Titanic 666, I'm going to give it maybe, I don't know, 
maybe a five out of ten. Well, it got points for the colour uh, and the idea, you know, reenacting the spirits of the Titanic and that, and you know, and Voyager and that, you know. Um, but yeah, it's not a movie that I could, um, unfortunately, you know, I couldn't say, I couldn't watch again, I couldn't add it to my collection, you know. But, um, but I must give it some marks, as I say, for love, lovely colour and a lovely setting, you know. But it just wasn't a very good ghost movie, you know. And you didn't really see all that many ghosts in it, to be honest, you know. Uh, there wasn't all that many many incidents where the ghosts popped up. And you could tell they were cheap cheap CGI effects and that. They weren't very convincing at all. Yeah, so, um, yeah. Okay. All right, then, guys. So that's that's me, a review of the uh, 2022 movie, uh, Tana, Titanic Rises. Have you seen this movie? What did you think of it? Um, yeah, let me know in the comments down below. Um, you know, but as I say, if you're if the kind of person that likes, you know, stories with the Titanic in and you like ghost stories, like mild ghost stories, I should say, you might get some pleasure out of it. But I didn't like it, guys. It, it wasn't for me, yeah. All right, then, guys. Hope you enjoyed the review. Um, and as I say, leave your comments down below about, about it, like if you've seen it and that, you know. And uh, usual, please feel free to share, subscribe, comments. And all going well, I'll be back uh, very soon with another video. Take care. Bye for now.